Welcome to another Power BI video and for today's series, I'll show you on how to create this homepage in Power BI and how can we create this menu at the top of our Power BI as a way of page navigation. So if we select executive summary, that will change the view or page of our report that will be the same when we select financial performance and same when we select sales performance. And when we go back to our home page, we will have this info panel that will give our users the purpose and objective of each buttons or menus or page navigations in our report. So if you're now ready, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we have to import our data to our Power BI report. So to do that, we need to go to get data then select Excel or you can just select Excel in the home tab. So if you're wondering where to see the data sets that I use in this report, you can just refer to the description box of this video and the link will be available. Now, after importing your data to Power BI report, the next action will be changing the name of our report. So let's just have this as home page. Okay, so the next step is we have to do some pre-layout formatting, which is going to view, then select page view, then select actual size. And under visualization, let's go to the format painter tool. And then in page alignment, we will select middle. And for page background, we will decrease the transparency to zero. So the moment you change your transparency, you will have this shadow effect at the corner of your canvas. Now we have our canvas ready. We can add our text, buttons, images, and menus in this canvas. So to add your text, you can go to insert, then select text box. And then you can just add uh, your header title. So let's have this name here. And we will resize it. And then we'll add more information at the bottom part here. So let's say this is the data, data analytics in Power BI, or let's have it something like this, and we'll have another uh, text box for Power BI. Okay, and then we will resize this into this format. So let's go to the font options here. Let's have this one and let's increase the font size to uh, 40 maybe. Right, and for this text, we will select this this font style, and then around forty four font size. Right, and let's just change this to a different format. This one will do, okay, and then we will remove the background and going to the format text box panel, then we will tick the background to oft. Same as with the other text box here. And we will add more information about this report. So let's have another text box. And then let's have this at the bottom of our title. And then one more text box. Then let's have this. And then we will add our button. So you go to insert, select button, then select blank. And then let's just put it under the text here. Let's have it button text, so let's say purchase report. All right, now if someone hover it, you will be directed to 
pay hip account so when you hover on to this button you will see the text changes so from purchase report when you hover it it will change to direct to pay hip and we will add more buttons at the top of our report so those buttons will be serve as our menu and for page navigation so to do that let's have another set of buttons that when uh, that we can just copy and paste so uh, let's tick the button text on and let's have it as home and then we'll put here the executive summary so basically what we're doing is we are setting up this button as our menu so we'll have this financial performance report and we'll have this sales performance report right great and then we will highlight all of this we select format then align and distribute horizontally and let's just resize our company name here let's have it around 18 that will do and we'll add a line here just to make a division to the header or company title and also the menu as the top portion and we have the lower portion in our report which will give a quick information about what we are doing here so to do that we will select insert and in shapes we'll select line and in line we will make way as zero or one maybe and then let's have this color and we will do rotation 90 degrees and we will resize it and we'll put it at the bottom of our header and now we are ready to add our images here so to add our image still at insert select image and then you just need to select the location of your image and so we'll just resize our image or our icon here just to align with our report okay now we have all of the icons imported and embedded in our report we can just move them on the correct location so I'll just move this menu here and uh, and we'll put these icons at the top of our report once we have all of the icons all of the text and buttons we are now ready to add our background so to add your background you select the canvas and then you go to the format painter tool and you select page background you add image and select the background that you want to have in your report so instead of normal I'll select fit so what we will do is we will remove the background of this text and same as with our buttons so we can highlight them and uh, remove the background same as with our company title here and we will just adjust our icons or images in our report and we will add more images so we'll have this ipad tablet image and we will add a simple shadow at the bottom of our tablet right this is good and let's just resize it and we will add some design in this ipad so that it will blend to our report so to do that let's add image and let's put this gradient background let's change the scaling to fit all right and let's 
resize it. All right, and we will have this information here, same or inside the iPad. So let's change this to 11. Great, and let's have here Power BI, something like that. And we'll copy these text and we'll add it here. And we'll just change the font size. And what we will do next is we will change the color of our text so that it will blend into our gradient background. So we will select color white as our font color. So I'll just select all of this and change to color white. All right, and these two will have white as well. Okay, great. And we'll and we'll change the font size and font type to this one. Good. So this should be at twenty four, and this one is at twelve. And then for this line, we will change the color as well. Let's increase the transparency to uh, fifty percent. Yeah, that's great. And for our title, we'll change this to this font type. And finally, we will format all of the buttons that we have in this report. So for this button turn on the fill formatting and then we will decrease the transparency so for button text that will be this font family and let's increase the size of the text let's make the round edges to 20 all right that should work and then let's turn it off so you can see here that the uh, round edges formatting stays in our button. We'll just copy this and we'll put it here. And in fill, we will make it 50% transparent. And button text will be white. While for the menu buttons, we will highlight all of this. We will remove the outline. Button text size is 12%. 12 point and then the family or font family will be this one and font color should be white so let's just adjust the size of our button so for the home button we will have our feel and for our outline that is 20 pixels and we will turn off the outline again and for the rest of our buttons we'll change the color to this color and let's go back to home button let's go to fill and on hover fill color will be white and on default stage it should be white but 10% darker so at the last part of this video we will just have our buttons images and text adjusted accordingly so you might ask there are a lot of images in this report and it might impact the performance of the whole report and that is correct so my intention here is to show to you on how you can add images and how you can design your report just in power bi so that's it for the first part and in part two we will create our graphs and charts in our executive summary page so that's it for now
If you enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. And see you in the next video. Bye.